Hi Booktube, Lynette here and today I'm going to talk to you about some anticipated releases. This is not a video that I typically do because it's not often that I have more than one or two books on my radar. But I have four um, that are coming up over the next four or five months um, that I am really looking forward to and I'm looking forward to picking up um, when I have them in my hands and I have them all on pre-order. So let's explore what I'm anticipating. So the first book that I'm seriously anticipating this year is Hera by Jennifer Saint. This is the fourth book by her um, based around Greek uh, mythology and as the title suggests in this one she's going to be exploring uh, the Greek goddess Hera. I'm sure that as usual it's going to be linked through with um, the known mythology alongside um, some fleshed out stories by Jennifer herself. I have thoroughly enjoyed the previous three books that I've read by her um, and as soon as I saw that this one was coming out in May, it's actually releasing on the 23rd of May, I had to have it in my pre-order basket um, and yes I have made sure that I've pre-ordered the signed copy as well to match my copies of Electra and Atalanta uh, one day I would really love to meet Jennifer Saint so I could get my copy of Ariadne signed as well. Looking forward to that, hopefully. Um, but yes, definitely looking forward to picking up Hera in the very near future. Moving into June, right in the very beginning of June, the first uh, release on the 6th is Shadow Stitch by Carrie Thomas. This is a book two in the series that she started. I cannot remember the series title, but the book one is called Threadneedle. I am currently in the process of reading that now. I am almost halfway through it and I am highly anticipating this. I'm really, really enjoying it. Uh, I read like magical realism. Um, it is about witchcraft and keeping it hidden in the shadows. So I'm assuming that's where Shadow Stitch is going to go. Um, but it's about a young girl who is in her mid-teens and she is uh, becoming a witch and she's learning all about um, magic and the hidden world of magic that she didn't know exist in London because she has been sheltered from it. And yeah, I'm enjoying where that is taking me. So I'm definitely glad that I have put Shadow Stitch on my pre-order list. I actually pre-ordered it before I started reading Threadneedle um, because I wanted the copy to match the copy that I've got on my shelves. I've got the exclusive signed Waterstones copy. Um, so yes, yeah, so I had to do that as well for this book. On the 13th of June, the most highly anticipated book of all that I've got in this year um, is Gold by Raven Kennedy. Yes, I know it's already out. However, I have the series in paperback and this is the paperback release date. I am still waiting for the library copy to become available. Um, it says it's in transit. I don't know if it's in transit to my library for me to borrow if I'm the next person on the list to pick it up. But I have been waiting for so long that at this point um, I'm on the points of cancelling my library reservation and just waiting for the paperback copy to come in. I have pre-ordered the paperback copy so that it will sit with the rest of the series on my shelves. I don't like separating series uh, which is why I try to, if whatever the fir first book has been bought in, that is the format I will buy the rest of it in. Um, but yes, it is the continuation of Oren's story. I cannot tell you anything about it because to do so would spoil the first four books. Um, but Oren is uh, completely gold um, and she, in the first book, she is the plaything of King Midas and events happen in that book that are the leaping off point for the rest of the series. I hear a lot of people say they don't enjoy the first book. I say get through the first book, get to the ending, get to the reveal because you will want to read the rest. Um, 
and it does get better after the, after the first book because the story takes a completely different tangent after that and I'm just loving Oren's growth and the changes that she's going through and yeah I once I have gold in my hands you can guarantee that I am going to be reading it not very long after um, because I have been waiting for this one since I finished the fourth book last year beginning of last year it's going to be more than 12 months since I read book four um, and I just I can't believe that um, I'm really hoping that I won't have to wait that long for Goldfinch which is book five I know the hardback version is due out later this year um, I'm hoping that the paperback version will be towards the end of the year if not early next year um, but yes, just another series that I have absolutely been looking forward to continuing and desperately want the next instalment. My next anticipated read and final anticipated read so far of this year is one that is a little way off in the future. Um, it's in September. It's due out on the 19th of September and it is a YouTube creator novel now i normally shy away from youtube creators and their books um but this one the author is lucy jane wood her channel name is lucy jane wood i have been following her for seven maybe eight years at this point um she was an early creator that I discovered when I first started hunting around YouTube. I think she did a random book review, um, which I watched and then I really enjoyed. I really enjoyed her style, her humour, um, her personality. Uh, and she was doing lifestyle videos. So she did a series called Average Girl Tries and she would do try on hauls, uh, which she's just so honest and i really enjoy that um she's just she's fabulous please go and check her out she is a brilliant youtuber um i just love it uh i've been in the last few years she's just left me so inspired um they bought their first home and she's been gradually they've been gradually doing it up um as they've had the money to do it um and she just leaves me feeling so inspired for my own home um, and I thoroughly enjoy uh, watching her videos um, so and she's been hinting for a while now that she'd been writing um, I, I've seen a couple of hints that she had been writing um, so I was like oh I hope she's writing a book very much so very much I hope she's writing a book um, and then a few weeks ago she announced that she is releasing a book in September and I immediately had to pre-order it. Um, it's called Rewitched. Again it's about a young woman who is I think I think she learns that she's a witch. I'm gonna leave um, Lucy's videos down below uh, where she's talked about this. She talks about it much better than I can. Um, and yes see it as um I'm sorry about the lighting. See this as an introduction to her channel. Uh, Lucy is awesome amazing beautiful human being um and i wish her all the best uh this week she announced that actually waterstones are going to be releasing a signed special edition of the book i cancelled my original pre-order and then pre-ordered it again because it's just it's a gorgeous cover um as you can see uh it's a beautiful cover um, it sounds all kinds of cosy, whimsy, just everything that Lucy is. Um, I feel like is going to be in this book and I'm so excited for it. Um, I can't tell you how excited. Uh, I'm already planning where it's going to fit because it's hardback. So top shelf is hardbacks. Um, the top shelf is full. I'm going to move books off of there because I need to make room for this book. Um, so yes, uh, thoroughly looking forward to that. And that one is my final anticipated read of this year. Um, are you anticipating any of these four? Uh, 
please let me know. Um, let me know what books you are anticipating yourself. Maybe I'll find some others that I look forward to um, in the comments box down below. If you have enjoyed this video, then please don't forget to give it a like. And if you're not already subscribed to the channel, and I look forward to seeing you in my next one. Bye. Thank you.